Hi, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is part two um, of the changing the Pez to FCM. All right, so here's the little sheets. These are what I do not use. Um, if anybody wants these things, if you ever place an order, just let me know and I'll send them on over to you. I do not use them. All right, so what we're going to do, this is uh, the fabric that I have. Um, for my little owl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron some stuff onto it and then put it on here. So I'm going to go get all this ready um, and then be back to show you how I do all that. Okay, so I have my fabric and this is um, Pelon Wonder Under. And then I don't cut it out. I'm going to iron it on while it's still on here. Um, I have my iron. Just a old junky iron that I've had for ever and a day. Um, so I have that heating up. And I'm going to come and press it on here. And I have a cardboard box with some um, a silicone heat thing under it so it doesn't melt my cutting pad. And just iron it on. And most of you that have done this before know how to do this, but for beginners, people like me that have never done this before and want to try it. Come and get right along the edge. Be careful not to run your iron on it if you leave it so, you know, all attached and you don't cut it before. You can get the little glue stuff on your iron and that makes a huge mess. Well, you can buy this stuff at like Walmart or uh, uh, Hobby Lobby, um, Joanne Fabrics, places like that. You can get it online, you can get it at your, you know, brother dealer. Anybody that carries fabric will have this stuff, okay? Make sure it gets nice and stuck down. And you don't see anything lifting. There's no little frays that are free flying. I think by George I just about have it. Nice and smooth. This okay. All right. So that's all done. Now I'm going to cut it apart and I'm going to stick it on my mat. Okay, so here's the, the mat. And I didn't take anything off of it. It's still just like it was. I'm going to put it right on here. Smooth it all out. And then this. I need to go... Um, see what my sizes look like on the screen so that I know um, make sure actually I'll just do this because I can move those images around and I'll stick it down here make sure it's all nice and even nice and flat if you want to you can take a brayer Okay, and bray it down. Or for those of you that got like the little pink scraper, just take it and go around gently, not firm pressure, but just make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay? And I know with this kind of cotton, I'm going to probably, because my blade 
um, my settings for my 650 are really really light I know I'm going to use probably we'll see probably a blade depth of like one to one and a half on mine pressure always minus one and speed I'll keep it low at a um, one okay here we are at the machine I have all this stuff sitting there or all the stuff on the mat let's zoom in here okay sorry all right so I know I need to move my wings down so I'm just gonna grab my finger for right now and one, two, three, four. Bring them down just a smidge more. There we go. That should do. Try to get it over just a little bit. Okay. So everything is where it is supposed to be. I have. Let me see if I can get you to see this. I have just a fabric holder and a blade. And I actually have this set at almost a three because I'm looking at it and it's just starting to poke out. So my cut speed is at a three take that down cut pressure at a one minus one all right so and let's start now we'll see what we get we'll come back now remember with me and all of my stuff that I do when it's something that's new new pressures new settings new stuff like that I always try a corner of it before I pull it off to make sure well, let's try this. Uh, still looks like it might be a little snaggy. So let's go another round. So what I did is it says a quick cutting. So I just hit OK. And this is the screen that came back up. I come over here and I hit, oops, I hit the right one. Hit cut again. Then we'll let it have another go round and cut again. Okay, so let's see how we fared. Okay, so not bad on that one. Good on this one. Could have went maybe a smidge deeper. Yeah, I think I go just a tad deeper because it didn't really catch the paper. And you want a nice clean cut, which it did in the fabric, but it should actually catch the paper too. So that when I pull on it, everything comes off. Which, you know, it did for the owl, as you see. but wasn't as party as I liked. Okay, so you see there's, it came off really good for the fabric. Paper, yeah, not so much. A little chunks of paper hanging out there. So it cuts really well. And then when I peel this off, the paper stays behind and then I just grab the paper and I peel that off. Hopefully, let me check, make sure you guys can see this, what I'm doing. Oops, so I got the paper stuck. Let's grab that, pull that up. Then take a thing in here, okay. Oh no, look, it might be getting stuck. I'm trying to show you what you can do if it gets stuck. Maybe this one will get stuck for us. Well, let's just say it's stuck. Take your scraper, just like this. 
follow along and it gets it every single time. That's why I really like these scrapers. They're hard. They're not going to bend. They're not going to hurt your mat because it's not going to carve into it. Oh, this one. I don't want to let go of the paper. Okay. Take my scraper. And there we go. Everything is nice and clean. Okay. Now, we have to do up our pattern for our contest. So I think this is going to be the end of this video because you've seen me uh, do up the uh, Pez to FCM and you've seen me cut it out not using and people wonder if this is you know too hard or too firm this is actually so um, light and kind of almost just like regular fabric I mean look at it it's there's nothing too firm about this this is almost just like regular fabric um, when people when I say this is you know what I use when I go to cut it sure yeah when it's on this it's a little more stiff but when this comes off it's just dang near like regular fabric so it's not really stiff um, I know uh, I want to try cat I know I want to try uh, to also do um, some of the starch stuff I don't know I think I might also have my grandma's doily pattern thing so maybe I'll try to use up her starch recipe um, with her doily thing um, not really necessarily scan and cut but maybe I can tie that in too okay so I'm gonna end this video now and then I will pick it up um, actually oh cat doing the um, uh, pattern doing the dust cover pattern thing for our contest we're having oh my gosh all right so thanks a lot for watching um if you have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal hub on facebook thanks guys